first and foremost, before I get started with this lesson, I would like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rukah Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well and have taught me the truth, peace, and salutations unto the hopeful elect. You know, it's your brother DeBar Kabash coming back at you from the GMS Charlotte, North Carolina camp with a real quick lesson to edify through the Rakahak Wadash. Alright? And uh, I may entitle this lesson, I'm like, you're running out of time, Jake. You know, you are definitely running out of time, man. Alright? Because, you know, with everything that's happening, you know, uh, you know you're hearing more about wars. Rumors of wars, earthquakes, pestilences, famines. You know, they talk about shutting the border down. You know, Trump is talking about, you know, a purge. You know, Jake, you are running out of time. You see that? But you brothers and you few sisters out there, man, right? Continue to stay in the spirit, right? Continue to call and worship on the names of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, right? Continue to stay in the faith, man. You know, because you see these people out here, you know, they have no idea of what's going on, man. You know, none whatsoever. You know? So, you know, just like I say, you know, just want to do something real quick through the spirit and power. Yikes, dude. The light is green. You know, I, you know, these people out here are through, brothers. You know, you few such as that these people are through, you know, but you know, I, you know, that's a word I really don't use is yikes, you know, but you know, the light was green and Jake was just standing there, you know, just, just sitting in traffic, man. You know, sometimes, sometimes I got to use that word. Yikes, dude, what's your deal? <laughs> you know, but anyway, you know, just, uh, you know, just flowing through the spirit. Paul, you how about shit, I was shy. Look at this person here in front of me. Man, these people are, are, are absolutely through, brothers. Look at this. Yikes. Yikes, dude. And that's a woman there. <laughs> you know, but you know, it just, you know, just <sighs> doing something <laughs> through the spirit power, y'all, by Shiva. You know, if I was to ask that person there, you know, the Lord gets these people over to a reprobate mind, man. You know, but if I was to ask that person there, you know, they know about, you know, about the strike, you know, that's happening down here at the ports, the answer is no. Look at this person here. Oh, my goodness. No, it ain't even worth it, brothers. But anyway, you know, just, you know, you, you know, Jake is running out of time, man. You know, the Elder Not the Zockbar did a video, you know, showing some big Jake, you know, eating, uh, what is it, Chick fil A, just rapping about it. You know, Jake is still involving themselves into folly. When all hell is ready to break loose, at the end, you see that? We at the end of this thing here, man. You know, we are definitely at the end. You know, so this is why we're telling you brothers and you few sisters out there, man, to continue to measure out the time diligently within itself. And, you know, from my measurements, you know, and again, I'm a man, I love to, you know, I, I love the ruler, man. You know, but uh, according to my measurements, man, right? My tape measure is saying that we at the end of this thing, man. 100%, man. We at the end. These people out here, you know, it's, it's, these people are through. You know, the love of many is waxing cold and all of that, man. You know, so, you know, just wanted to, you know, just do something real quick through the spirit power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, right? And I only got a few precepts, and I'm going to go ahead and shut this thing down. You know, these people out here, you know, they, they walking around the earth just completely gone, man. Let's go ahead and grab a few precepts. This is the book of Habakkuk, right? Chapter 2, verse 1, and it reads, I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower, and I will watch to see what he was saying to me and what I shall answer when I'm reproved. You see that? And they meant we're standing upon our watch now, man. You see that? And guess what? The watchman... We're telling you that we are at the end of this thing, man. All the brothers, all the brothers in Great Millstone and the true blue brothers, the true brothers that teach the same doctrine, 
we're all saying the same thing, man. Like that we are at the end. You see, that's just like if you can imagine like a wall that's going around a city and there, there are men that are on that wall and we're all saying the same thing, man. We are at the end of this thing. That's how you know if, if a person is not a watchman, man. If they're a false prophet. You see, because all because uh, scriptures say that, uh, that you shall all speak the same thing, man. And we are telling you that we are at the end of this thing. Anyway, Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 2. And it reads, And the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that readeth it. You see that? And these things here are being made plain, man. The only people out there that are scratching their head and, you know, scratching their tail, you know, it's, it's, it's these people out here that have no idea what's going on, man. You see? And they, man, you know, you brothers and you few sisters out there, you can clearly see that we are at the end of this thing. Elder Pastor Har deemed this year the hopeful year of, uh, of Jacob's trouble. Right, and this could very well be the year, man. I want to say that, you know, today is October the 1st. You know, we still got two more months in this thing here, man. You know, this is it, if you ask me. You know, now, you know, I'm, I mean, you know, scriptures say no man know the day or the hour, but based off my measurements, man, right, we are definitely at the end. You see? Anyway, Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 3, for the, for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Amen. We at the end. You know, we at the end. Jake walking around the earth with just, you know, with, with, with a shaved head right here, and they got the dreadlocks <laughs> at the top, you know, with the tips, you know, the, uh, you know, the, yeah, man. You know, the women, you can't tell if they men. I just showed you, you know, who, who, you know, this place is done. Anyway, for the vision is yet for the point in time, but the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. You see that? And hey, man, these things, they're not tarrying anymore, man. Right? They're not tarrying anymore. You know, if you have ears to hear and eyes to see, you can easily see and hear that we are at the end of this thing, man. You see, these people out here, they have no clue. So what's going on? These people are in fantasy land, thinking about TikTok and, you know, uh, you know, singing songs about Chick-fil-A nuggets, <laughs> you know, and all of that, man. You know, let's go ahead and read this one here. This is the book of 2 Ezra, chapter 9, verse 1. I'm not going to keep this lesson long. And it reads, and he answered me and said, measure thou the times diligently in itself you see and you can't measure the time diligently right if you don't have a measuring instrument and what is the measuring instrument that we can read correctly the scriptures man right and when you read the scriptures it tells you about the signs that will be shown in the end you see and according to my again according to my measurements we are at the end of this thing here man we probably got about an inch left <laughs> you know or half an inch you know but anyway and it reads, uh, 2 Ezra chapter 9, verse 1, he answered me and said, Measure out the time diligently within itself, and when thou seest part of the signs pass, which I have told thee before, right, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world in which he made. You see that name, man? The Lord is already starting to visit this place with earthquakes, famines, pestilences, judgment. You know, it's, it's man... You know, and, and it's going to get real bad out here, man. Right? You're seeing strange sightings in the sky. You know, we had an eclipse not too long ago. You know, so these things are being shown into us, man. So the Lord's already be, be beginning to visit the world in which he made. The prophets are waking up. You see, the brothers and the few sisters out there, you know, they're waking up to this truth. So the Lord is visiting this place. You see? And it reads, uh... Second Ezra chapter nine verse three. Therefore, when thou seest, it's like it. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people, we just had a hurricane here, man. You see, and you, you know, you hear more and more about the uproars of the people, man. Right? Then shalt thou understand that it is the Most High that speak of those things. It's like a speak of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. That's right, man. You know, and, you know, when you, cause, cause scriptures say, you know, that my counsel shall stand, 
You know, that uh, the words that I speak out of my mouth, they shouldn't, they shall not return into me void, man. So the Lord already knew that these things was going to happen in the very beginning. You see, see, everything has a beginning time and everything has an end time. And we are in the end times, man. Second Ezra chapter 9 verse 5, for like all that is made in the world have a beginning and an end, right? The end is manifest. You see that? And yeah, man. Right, the end is definitely has manifest itself in these times, man. You see, all you gotta do is look at the people. You know, this place here is completely divided. You know, we are definitely at the end, and if you can't see that, then I don't know what to say, man. Right, Jake, we are running out of time. Right, it was a movie called uh, Out of Time. <laughs> you know, this is it. You know, this is it, man. You should see more and more Edomites. They're complaining. You know, there's people out here completely miserable. You know, if you ask me, Jake out there, you know, see how I got a nice little, you know, uh, I, you know not trying to brag, but, you know, got a, a nice, brothers are glowing, you know, but these people out here, they look gray in the face. They they look dark, but just gray, you know, like, 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 like the lights are on, but nobody's home. You know, they could tell you about these people. All, all I smell is Newports, you know, and, and, and weeds every damn where, man. You see, this place is done. I keep seeing billboards about, you know, about hemp. They got drinks now. But, you know, get, you know, I guess drink the hemp now. This place is finished. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if they put the stuff in the food. You know, this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 46, verse 10. It reads, declaring the end from the beginning and from the ancient times, the things that are not yet done, saying, my cap, matter of fact, let me see here. This is the book of Isaiah. I'm going to go back. Isaiah, chapter 46, and I'm going to start at verse 9. It reads, remember the former things of old, for I am Yahweh, and there is none else. I am Yahweh. And there is none like me. That's right. There's only one God. That is the God of the Israelites. Yahweh, man. You see? It says, declaring the end from the beginning. Right? I just said that. And from the ancient times, the things that are not yet done, saying, my counsel shall stand. I will do all my pleasure. You see that? So everything that's happening out here, right? Everything that you see happening, right? It's the Lord's pleasure. Right when 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 um when Esau go ahead and let all hell break loose is the Lord that's gonna do that man Jacob's trouble, right? When Esau go ahead and make the uh, MOTB mandatory, right? It's the Lord's chip, you see. And when you know that great and terrible day of the Lord comes, right? It's gonna be the Lord that do that man, right? And if you ask me, we are definitely at the cusp. Of all this stuff. At any at any given time, all hell could break loose. You know? You know, them talking about, you know, shutting down the ports and, you know, talking about a purge. This could very well be, we could very well be at the cusp of Jacob's trouble, man. You see? I'm going to read one more here and I'm going to shut it down. You know, like I say, just, just something real quick. Jake, you are running out of time. This is why scriptures say, seek ye the Lord why he may be found seek him early man right seek the lord in the day of thy youth you know and when you seek the lord in the day of your youth you're what man you're very strong you you know don't wait jake don't wait you know let's see if i can go ahead and bring in one more precept here let me see here salakia yeah. This is the book of St. Matthew, chapter 24, and I'm going to start at verse 32. And I want to read it in the, uh, in the NLT, and it reads, now learn, a, now learn a lesson from the fig tree. When the branches bud and its leaves begin to sprout, you know that summer is nigh. That's right, man. This is how we know when summer is nigh. You know, you start to see, you know, you know the plants start to bud and, you know, give off leaves and fruit. All right, verse 33, in the same way, when you see all these things, ye can know that, Slaka, you can know his return is near, right at the door. You see that? And they, man, right? When you're seeing all these, you know, uh, different, uh, different, uh, you know, things happening, 
you know, sedition among men, wars and rumors of wars, earthquakes, famines, pestilences, the, the brothers and the sisters waking up to this truth, you know, right, that the, that the Lord is near, man, right, even at the doors. You see that? You ever been in your room, you know, and you've been biting your nails and you can see the shadow coming from under the door, <laughs> see the shadow coming from under the door, you hear that, you know, uh, you hear the doorknob start to turn, just like a scary movie, you hear the doorknob start to turn, right, you know that, you know, whoever that is on the other side of, uh, of the door is right there at the door, man. Right, this is how we know that Yahweh Shah is at the door. You see, by all the prophecies that are jumping off the dresser, man. And they're getting worse. You know? But you know, just want to do something real quick through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. I actually do want to read that in the uh in the KJV. I could have read more, but you know. This is the book of uh, uh Saint Matthew 24, uh, verse 32 in the KJV, and it reads, Now learn a parable of the fig tree. When the branch is yet tender and put it forth leaves, you know that the summer is nigh. So likewise ye, when ye see all these things, right, know that it is near, even at the doors. You see, so this is how we know that we at the end, man. You know, Jake, you are running out of time. And you brothers and you, you sisters out there, man, continue to stay in the spirit. If anything, go ahead and trim that fat, man. You know, all the stuff that, you know, you know you're not doing that's right. Or all the stuff that, you, that you're that you doing and you know that's not right. Get it together, man. You know, this could very well be, right, the time when all hell break loose out there, man. You see? And it's coming. We know that it's coming, man. You know, you got people out there panic buying and, you know, going and going to get gas and all of that, you know. And I keep seeing more and more articles on that, you know. But, you know, like I said, I just want to do something real quick through the spirit. Paul, your how about you, how shy, right? We are running out of time. This is why you should definitely repent. You see that? And so the next time I say, Shalom.